What's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new top 10 video. And actually, quick disclaimer I wanted to give up to you guys before you can jump right into the top 10. Actually, because of the fucking virus that's been going around, as you guys know, a lot of movies have gotten delayed. And, if, and because of that, my list has been fucked. <laughs> Not entirely, to be fair, not entirely. Most of the movies that I wanted to come, that I have on this list are still going to come out this year, hopefully. But, uh, fa but originally Fast 9 was on my list, but since that movie got delayed till 2021 in April, why? But because of that, I ended up having to switch a movie, I had to t can't get rid of that movie and put another one, so yeah. Just wanted to give out a quick disclaimer, guys, and anyway, enjoy the video. What's good, Joe? Welcome to my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2020. So yeah, man, i been hot for this year. It should be a good year. There's a lot of great movies that are coming up this year. A lot of real ones that I'm really excited for. But yeah, man, without further ado, let's just jump right in. So, number 10 on my list, we have No Time to Die. Of course, from the latest 007 film. Looks great, the trails of Dawson, and I always enjoy me some 007. Love me some Casino Royale, Sky, Sky Falls great. Spectre was also really good, and I overall just enjoy me some Bond. Um, apparently this is Daniel Craig's last movie. Although I'm like 90% certain he said the last thing, last same thing about Spectre, and he kind of felt like it was the last one, but this one he said, This is my last one, for the love of God, somebody else take the role. Hopefully they don't do... I, I, I know there's been rumors about the whole thing they're going to make her black and a woman and they're going to use um, the chick that, would, that played Maria in Captain Marvel. No. I am again, I am, I know someone's going to be like, oh, you're sexy. If you know why Bond was created just the overall character James Bond, it does not fit to make it a woman. Now, a black man like Idris Elba oh, or Denzel Washington, oh, you won't hear any complaints from me. You, but a black one or a woman in general, not fair. Not fair. Anyway. So without further ado, so yeah, that is why No Time to Die is number 10 on my list. Very excited for that one. Very excited. Number 9, we have A Quiet Place Part 2. Bruh! Bruh! So, yeah, man, like... Uh, man, like, this... Uh, I'm so happy for this. You guys know how much I love the first, a quiet, the first Quiet Place. And I love that movie... Like the, it was such a great horror film. A very, it was definitely, it, it was, felt so, it looked, uh, looked really nice. I love what they did with it, man. So definitely one of the more better horror movies from like mainstream Hollywood, I would say. Like I mentioned, my top ten movies list for last year or the year before that, that Hereditary was like the horror movie for the indie guys. You know, the guys, they're like that. That was like the. Um, under the radar, lower budget. This is for like the hardcore horror fans, you know, that indie market, you know, those type of guys. And A Quiet Place was like the mainstream horror movie of that year. Now, both movies were excellently, were both equally fan fucking tests, but I would definitely give that a slight bump to Hereditary Man. But this one looks great. I'm getting a lot of Last of Us vibes, also, and you all know how much I fucking love The Last of Us. So hyped for the second game to come out in June. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm hyped. This should be awesome. It's gonna be lit. March. It's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I can't wait for this game uh, or this movie. <laughs> I got last of us on the mind, but looks fantastic. I love the first Quiet Place. Second one should be great. And also, for the love of God, you better get Emily Blunt and um. Uh, oh fuck. What was the other guy's name? Whoever the two get these two to play the Fantastic Four when we get them in the MCU. For the love of God. Kevin Feige, make it happen, brother. Make it happen. Anyway, so that is why A Quiet Place Part 2 is number 9 on my list. Number 8, Black Widow. Now, this is a movie, of course, a lot of us have been excited for for a while. This is a movie that we have waited for a while. Ever since, I remember, like, you know, ever since she got introduced back in Phase 2, with Iron Man 2. Everyone is clamoring for this one. Give her a solo movie. Give her a solo movie. Where's her solo movie? And of course, we kept going. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Phase 2, we didn't get nothing. Phase 3, there was nothing. And then finally in Phase 4, after the bitch dies, it's like, now we will give you her solo film. Of course, after we gave Carol first dibs first. But, 
<laughs> y'all know how much y'all know my history. Y'all know my love for Kara Blood. <laughs> if I was if I was to make the first women, female led MC, I would have done a Black Widow like in like Phase Three or something. I don't know. I would have found some way to put it in there. But yeah, man, looks great. I'm getting a lot. I get a lot of John Wick vibes off me now. Will it be like John Wick? But where I know a lot of people have been comparing this like to Winter Soldier. A lot of people are like, oh, this is gonna be the modern day Winter Soldier for the MCU. This is gonna be the new Winter Soldier. Which I can get that. You watch the first trailer. Looks great, looks fantastic, and you can definitely get it. But I get a lot, but I also, when I watch I also got some John Wick vibes off it. Like, now, do I expect any great, epic, one long take action scenes? No, no. Let's be real, the MCU won't do that. But it kind of gets that similar style. Maybe the action will be filmed in a certain way, similar to John Wick, and just overall has that vibe of that, that darker, grittier, like lower budget. Not, let's, hey, here's something like on the scale of the Avengers movies, or even a lot of the MCU movies, like, something a lot more smaller scale, like Winter Soldier. You know, smaller scale, it's definitely, it's gritty, it feels real, and it's, it's and you're going to be on the edge of your seat. And we love, and I love Black Widow, she's been an interesting character in the MCU, but she's been there. Uh, and I'm, I'm not sure, now we know this is a prequel story, I'm not sure what exactly the plot's going to be for, we know the Taskmaster is going to be involved in it. But... One thing I am curious about is I'm curious if we're going to see anything more when with those little hints we saw back in, like, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Ultron. We saw some little hints of her backstory in Ultron. I'm curious if they're going to go elaborate on any of that further. We're going to see more of her backstory. Just her, just, I think she's in, like, Russia in this movie, right? I think she's going to be, like, doing some shit in Russia with, like, her sister or something. I can't remember the exact plot. I, it's been a mess I've seen the trailer. But, yeah, man. Um, I'm just hyped for this movie, man. It's gonna be really, really good. It's gonna be really, really good. I can't wait. Will it be the best MCU movie ever? Probably not. Will it be better than The Winter Soldier? We'll have to wait and see. Will this be? Will my? Will my? My hopes be right? Is this kind of similar to John Wick? Maybe. I'm not sure. But it should be good. I love me some Black Widow. Scarlett Johansson's been absolutely killing it as Black Widow. Kind of wish we got this movie a little bit sooner if you asked me about when she was still alive. But I digress. We got it now, and it looks fucking hype. So yeah. That is why Black Widow is number 8 on my list. Number 7, we have Wonder Woman 1984. One female led superhero, and then the next one above is another female led superhero movie. So, sequel, reboot. I don't know, they, with DC, you never get a fucking straight answer on these fucking people. But, the continue. Is. <laughs> You see, this is the problem with this movie. We don't know what the hell it is. Uh, Patty Jenkins came and said, oh, it's not a sequel to Wonder Woman 2. Wonder Woman. And I'm like, what the fuck is it? Is it a reboot? Is it a continuation? Is it a, mid is it a mid quote? What is it? Woman, tell me! But, whatever the case may be. Um, next Wonder Woman movie, set in the 80s, 84, obviously. And from what we saw from the trailer of it, it looks great, first of all. The posters for this movie are absolutely fucking fantastic, I must say. That poster was fucking lit. Uh, you got the posters that came out. The poster with Wonder Woman looks so good. The trailer with her like like swinging on lightning was pretty high. And I love the first Wonder Woman movie. It honestly should have been the blueprint Marvel should have followed for Captain Marvel. But no, let's push politics and fuck her while we're at it. Because she has been fucked hard enough in Civil War 2. But I digress. Anyway. Anyway, so, looks great. We're going to have uh, Trevor, I believe his name is, he's going to make his return. We saw some of the stuff in the set photos. I don't think he was actually in the trailer. But we saw him in set photos. Looks great. I love the first Wonder Woman. The sequel, the sequel, reboot, whatever it is, should also be really good. I'm definitely excited to see this one. This one, this one hopefully, should, should be good. Should be good, man. And I've been really doing what DC's been doing lately. You know, Shazam was pretty good. Aquaman was fucking amazing. And... You know, now, and we now we got this, which looks great. We got Birds of Play, Bird, uh, Birds of Prey coming out later this year. Um, looks good. I mean, I'm not that excited for it, but it does look good. But, I mean, Alex from High Top Films has been, like, super hyped for that movie for some reason. But, you know, whenever Birds of Prey comes out, you guys will see. You'll know my review, and you'll know what I think of the movie. Which, going by how long this is probably going, don't know how long this is going to take me to actually edit. It's probably already been up for, like, a month or something. <laughs> but, anyway. Uh, anyway. So, yeah. Wonder Woman 1980. Nah, Wonder Woman 8. Nah, Wonder Woman 1984 is number seven on my list. So now let's get to number six. Number six on my list is Halloween Kills. 
Y'all know how much I fucking love the original, or not the original, the reboot, remake, sequel to the first Halloween movie we got two years ago. We got that one, you guys know I said that, like, that one was like, that's like my second all-time favorite Halloween film, that if it wasn't for that high school shit, I would have said this is actually better than the original Halloween. Yes. John Carpenter's Halloween. I would have said that, if that high school shit wasn't there, because that third act was fucking lit, man. Now, we still don't know what much about this movie, we still haven't gotten a trailer, um, that hasn't really got much of it, anything, we just know that it's a sequel, and we also got another one that was, what was the third one called? Uh, Halloween Survives, was it? Was Halloween Kills, Birth or something? I forgot, I forgot what the third title was. But we know Jamie Lee Curtis is returning, most of the, of the cast from that movie is going to come back, and... I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure, we, next, we know next to nothing about this movie, nothing has really come out on, uh, of it, um, as of right now, but, I am, but, but whatever we got, um, but whatever, for, I'm just going off, but you guys know, I'm high for this movie, so that's why it's on my list, and honestly, if we got a trailer or something, it probably would honestly be higher on my list, if I'm being real, it probably would have been higher if we have gotten a trailer by this point, but, judging from what we know, what happened in the last movie, I'm thinking they might go all in with some stuff that they were going to set up with Halloween 4 and 5 with, like, you know, uh, uh, Lori's, like, what was her niece, I think it was, that was DNC for those movies, and they thought that she was going to become the next Michael Myers, but then they kind of dropped that and do some other shit with Halloween 6. I think, judging from the post credits if I, or not post credits if, yeah, if I'm remembering it correctly, because I haven't seen the movies I saw in theaters, if I remember correctly, like, you know, it ended up with her, like, holding a knife, and as we were, like, going away from, like, little compound or whatever, where they burned Michael's, burned Michael alive, which we know he survived, that is, I come out to survive anything at this fucking point, but, um, with that, it looks like they might be going in that direction, they might have to be going all in this time, I'm not sure, either way, it should be fucking awesome, you guys know I love me some slasher films, so yeah, that is why it's number six on my list. Number five, we have Dune. This is actually coming from the same director as uh, Prisoners, as well as, more importantly, Blade Runner 2049. I actually just found out when I saw I was looking up Letterboxd, and a bunch of people were looking up to see what other people's top tens lists were, just to see what other people were thinking. And I saw this movie along there a lot. I was like, Dune, it's Dune, it's Dune, it's Dune. I'm like, what the hell is this Dune movie? Looked it up, found the same director as Blade Runner. I'm like, oh, never, never mind. I better put this on my list. Because you guys know I fucking loved Blade Runner 2049. And... Without a doubt, man, that movie is fucking off the sentence. That movie was shot so beautifully, man. <sighs> like, now we, now this is another movie we, we know next to nothing about. Next to nothing about this movie. We don't know what it's a. Well, I, at least I haven't checked. Maybe, maybe if I did some digging out, but just from a general glance, I haven't done like deep dives on the internet trying to figure out what this movie's about. But. We've only gotten a little bit of it. This list is really just here for its name value of the director. The director's name, which is, his name is slipping my mind at this current moment. But knowing the, the director of Blade Runner 2049 is attached to this, it's going to be a masterpiece without a doubt. And it should be fucking awesome. It's probably going to be one of the best movies of the year, no doubt. So that's why it's number five. If we had, like I mentioned before, like Halloween Kills, we had like a trailer or something, I, this honestly would probably be in my, my top three. Top three. But hey, it's in my top five. Anyway. Number four on my list, we have Godzilla vs. Kong, of course, the remake or whatever, the sequel to Godzilla King of Monsters of the duel of the ages between Godzilla and King Kong. This is going to be lit. This will be fucking awesome, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait for this um, Godzilla King of Monsters was fucking awesome. That is right there is how you make a fucking kaiju. That right there was a fucking kaiju. And Kong Skull Island was great in its own right, man. So, with all that being said, this is going to be awesome. Now, yes, the director from the live action Death movies is doing this one, but you guys know me. I love. I thought the Netflix Death Club movie was fucking awesome. I thought it was like a great re-adapt, or reimagine, I should say, of this story. And I, and I overall just loved it. Now, I know I'm in depth with the minority with that, but hey, that's my opinion. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. Kong Skull, uh, not Kong Skull Island, Godzilla King of Monsters was such an entertaining popcorn film that if it's anything like that, y'all are going to see me give this movie 10 10s, and it'll probably be somewhere in my top 10 list for the year. So yeah, Godzilla vs. Kong is number 4 on my list, and I'm and definitely very excited for that one. That one should just be fun. Just overall, just fun. <laughs> number 3, we have Mulan. Oh, 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 I'm so hyped for this movie. 
Now, Disney's live action remakes have been pretty good most of the time. The Beauty and the Beast, that was pretty good. I didn't watch Dumbo because I didn't, I didn't wasn't really that big on the original Dumbo. Uh, what, uh, what were the other ones they've done? The Jungle Book was also really good. Um, Maleficent wasn't half bad, actually. Uh, what the fuck else? Um, there's probably been some other ones that are slipping my mind right now, but yeah. Disney, me personally, I've enjoyed Disney's live action remakes, and but even if there's someone you have to, that has like, you gotta admit that Mulan looks fucking awesome. Like, y'all know I'm a sucker for samurai shit. Now, I know y'all say, oh good, this is set in China. Yes, I know, same pot time period, y'all know what I mean. But, I am so hyped for Mulan. Like, I don't care if all the songs are cut out, I don't care if Mucho's cut out, fuck them. <laughs> you don't need them. The way this movie's been shot, the way the trailers look, this looks like a modern-day samurai film. And, like I said, I love my samurai, and I just love the way the movie's shot. And, oh god, it looks so good. Oh, I think this, I believe this movie's coming out in March, I think. It might, might be a little bit later. But, whatever, man. Bruh, your boy is hyped. <laughs> I cannot wait for this movie. It is going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for Mulan, man. It's so hype. Now, number two. This movie probably this one I'm gonna get a little shit for because I'm gonna go wiggle in 2019, and that is 1917. Now I know Joe St. Glenn, this movie came out last year. Yes, I know in select theaters, but here in the for the rest of us it came out in 2020. Now, for me, so I was kinda of debating which one do I kind of have it apply for. My top 20, my top 10 list for uh, last, my spamming for this year, or do I put in my top 10 list for last year's list? Um, me personally, but because it came out, and you know, even the Oscars kind of you know, nominated for last year's uh, Oscars as well. Um, so it was kind of like 50 50 on the whole thing. I was like, do I do a dab? And I was like, yeah, fuck, let me put on my top 20 list, or my top 10 most anticipated list for 2020 because hey, it comes out everywhere else here. This is where a lot of people are more people are going to see it. So fuck, let me put it in this list. So yeah, movie looks great. Same cinematographer. For Blade Runner 2049 doing this movie, and we also got in with the um, director of Skyfall doing it, and we and the whole thing about the movie shot in one long take. Great, looks weird. And if you were to, and I was, if I was ever to give the award for best trailer of 2019, or hell, even best trailer of all time, I'd give it to that first show for 1917 with the editing, the. With the text and everything, man, bro, that trailer was edited beautifully, and the movie itself looks fucking awesome, man. Like a bitch more. I'm really curious with the whole one take thing and how that's gonna work. Now, obviously, it's not gonna be all shot one take. That's impossible. But I'm curious how it's gonna look. It should be great for a lot of great things about this movie, from reviews and everything. And overall, I'm hyped. Should be good. Should be fun, and I can't wait to watch it. Definitely looking forward to when we see the sprint, the run through No Man's Land. That's in all the truth. That shot, when we get to that in the movie, that's going to be hype. That's going to be hype, ladies and gentlemen. And so now, let us get to number one on my list, which is Tenet. Christopher Nolan's latest movie that's going to be coming out this year. Now, uh, I might have mentioned this in my Star I think I mentioned this in my Star Wars by Skywalker review, but when I watched the movie in the IMAX here, I watched it in IMAX, right before we started, like about. We had like this, like this 15 minute long, short play. Now at first, with the guys and guns going through this, like this, like um, theater, or whatever. Now at first, I'm like, what is this? Is this J.J. Abrams' short film? Short film, you know, new short film he's done. And as it was going on, I was impressed with what I saw. But then I found out that it was the trailer for Tenet, or a little like preview of Tenet, with the, you know, the IMAX, because you know, Christopher Nolan loves his IMAX, always it's great IMAX. But and then we saw the rest of the clip. I went and see, saw some more. I went and looked through a little bit more of the movie, and and that's why. And I I love what we got from it. Like I mentioned, I was very intrigued with that original like 15 minute short that we got at Star Wars. And then when I saw the rest of the trailer, kind of played at the end of the movie, looks great. And plus, Christopher Nolan's doing this. Y'all know Christopher Nolan's one of my best favorite directors right now. Um, Night, um, you know, D Dunkirk, the Dark Knight trilogy, Prestige. All that shit. That's honestly why it's on this list at number one is because I don't because you know Christopher Nolan's directing it. The movie looks fucking fantastic. It looked beautiful on the IMAX screen. My God, like bruh, it looked amazing in IMAX. I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, man, that's all I really gotta say. Um, uh, what's his name? The guy's gonna be playing Batman now. Uh, uh fuck. Uh shit. 
Uh, fuck, his name slid my mind. You know, the guy that played Edward in Twilight. He's asking me the movie too, which I'm definitely curious about that one because he was playing Batman. I haven't really seen him in any movies. Uh, not, not really in any movies lately outside of Twilight, so I'm definitely trying to see how much acting chops this guy actually got. Because I know everyone say, oh, he's actually a great actor if you watch his indie films like, you know, Good Time. And yeah, man. Overall, I am very excited for this film, and it should be very amazing. It should be awesome. It should be epic. It seems I'm getting a lot of Inception vibes off of it, which, you know, I did love me some Inception. That was some good shit when I saw that. And yeah, man, I'm hyped for this movie. So yeah, tell me down below what you guys saw on my top 10 list. What is your top 10 list? Most just been movies list of this year. Tell me all down below, guys. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Flag, Link, Sounds Christian Boss below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.